This is the kind of trick I really love to share here on my YouTube channel because it is so simple and it is so direct and the magic so clear. And after watching me perform it and then teach some of the secrets around it, you'll be able to immediately do it and have fun with it. It is a bulletproof trick. No fuss, no muss, lots of magic. You start card trick, you say, look, I'm going to go through the cards. And at some point, whenever you feel like it, I want you to say stop. You're going to essentially be asking me to cut the cards wherever you want, whenever you want. You can go through the cards. They eventually call stop. You say, fine. There, you're sure? You want me to go one more? And they say, sure, one more. They really can stop wherever they want. You say, I'm going to give you a peek at the card you stopped me at. I don't want to see it. I'm going to give you a little peek at the card where you stopped me at. I'm going to leave the card in the very middle of the pack and put the cards away inside the card case. Okay. We'll get back to those in a moment. Concentrate on your card. Remember, I went through, you called stop wherever you wanted. You're thinking of one playing card. Fine. Very, very direct. No fuss, no muss. No suspicious moves. You say you reach in your pocket or you can pull it off the table, whatever the case may be. So you got a rubber band. This is the amazing vanishing rubber band. Okay, watch it very carefully. I'm going to warm it up. You're going to see the band vanish into thin air. Three, two, one. The rubber band is gone. Thank you so much. Pretty amazing, huh? Now, most people have seen rubber bands vanish like that before. But the cool thing is you say to the person who's maybe holding the card case, or maybe it's right here on top of it, you say, do me a favor. You're thinking of a card, right? Open up the card case. They go over. They open up the card case. You say, take out the cards. They take out the cards. And everybody sees impossibly in the middle of the deck is the rubber band. And the rubber band, they spread through the cards. Okay, I'm just going to cut to it, but they can spread through it. There's no gimmicks, no fuss, no muss, nothing funky. Only one card in the entire pack has a rubber band on it. And it is the one card they were thinking of. And there's no duplicate ace of diamonds. You only use one ace of diamonds the entire time. So that is pure magic. It is simple. It is magical. It happens inside the card case while they're holding it along. You can have it in full view, really play it up as an impossible thing. Uh, the vanish of the rubber band is cool. Uh, and people will have to go looking for a second rubber band and all that kind of thing. So a little bit of humor there and all that. So I'm going to reveal the secrets of all that right now. It is straight up. It is cool. It's great for bars and real casual. And uh, as you can see, too, uh, it can work on Zoom because it's a very fair selection. You can keep the deck in the hold. So it's cool for FaceTime and Zoom as well. I'm going to reveal that secret in just a moment. I'm also going to have the question of the week. Uh, this question, uh, this week I'm going to be giving away one of 12, or I should say 12, <laughs> of my envelope gimmicks. Envelope is a very cool envelope. Okay, with a big window on it. Uh, with it, you can do prediction tricks. You can do forces, a whole bunch of things. As always, you can check it out at sankeymagic.com. Uh, Omnilope, O-M-N-I, lope. Like antelope, only quite different. A trick with an antelope, it, I'm just, I just, I don't think it's a good idea. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, here's the question of the week, though, for your chance to win. If you had supernatural powers and you could do any trick with a rubber band, any trick you can imagine, no matter how funny or strange or weird or impossible or shocking or um, not PC, politically incorrect, whatever it is, okay? Just don't be too rude. Uh, if you could do any trick with a rubber band, you had supernatural powers, what would it be? Leave a comment down below. Leave that comment down below and that will automatically enter you in the contest to win um, one of uh, 12 prizes. 12, I'm going to be giving away 12 Omnilope. So leave your comment down below. Okay, on this video in just a moment, a couple of minutes in fact, I'm going to be uh, also announcing the, the winners of the last contest for my trick called Immortal. Immortal. So all 12 winners, they're right here. Oh, I'm going to announce them in a moment. Okay, don't rush me, don't rush But let's jump into the secrets of this cool trick. Uh, so this is the Hindu Force, okay? The Hindu Force, I was playing around, is the bottom card. All right, 99 diamonds at the bottom. And you're pulling cards off the top, okay? And if they get a little messy in your left hand there, you can just turn these and tap, tap, tap. Okay, so pull it off the top and tap. Pull it off the top. I know the lights here in the studio are a little bright today. Like this, I got the windows open too, too, a little too much light. But that's the Hindu. You're going through, they can call it, uh, and they, it's an old phrase, Hindu. I find it vaguely offensive. But anyway, you're going through here like this. It's, that's the traditional name from many, many years ago. Pulling off the top one whenever they want it. I like the line. You're going to say stop. You're going to tell me where to stop, almost where to cut the cards. So just kind of drop that in there because it's true. They do. Now, I was playing around with it one day and I realized it didn't call stop. As soon as they call stop, normally you can flash the nine of spades. So, for example, 
Jack of clubs. Just call stop whenever you want. They call stop. You say, go ahead, take a look at that card. Very deceptive force, okay? It's the bottom card, but there's something that really flows in that final boom. It's very deceptive, okay? But I was playing with it one day, and I realized, wait a second here. I never sh show the edge of the packet. I realized what I could do was take a card like the Jack uh, King Hearts. I could put a rubber band around it, okay? Put it not quite in the middle, maybe two-thirds the way down, okay? If I have that on the bottom, because of my grip, I can hide the rubber band, okay? So I can, in fact, pull them off, and I realize, wait a second, but what I can't do is this. I can't then say this, okay? Okay. But, very casually, since I'm talking about cutting the cards, they can call stop wherever they want, I can move this forward, which really sells the idea that it was the middle card, not the bottom card, and give a quick flash. And still never reveal the rubber band or the gap or anything. So that's how you do it. It starts rubber banded here, okay? The rubber band's there. It could be in your card case. You can take them out. Probably easier, though, is to have this card in your pocket. And then at some point, you're doing, doing some card tricks, deck is shuffled, examined. Put these in your pocket directly on top of this. And this could be your final closing trick. It's very strong. Take the cards out, feel the rubber band, go through, through like this. They call stop. Uh, they call stop. Push this forward. Give them a flash here. And I love this part. You square. Now, you do not want to flash this. So you should now be turning the cards towards yourself, minimizing the chance of flashing that, okay? And squaring. But look how fair that is. There's the king in the middle, and you leave it in the middle. They say you take the cards and put them in the card case and close up. So it really looks like the middle card. Square up the cards, hand in the hole. Again, my favorite line, you know. They think the trick's about to start. Oh, no, it's quite done. It's quite done. The one card they're thinking of. They didn't even take it out of the pack. They just basically took a peek at a card and it's going to have a rubber band appear on it. Really cool magic. Now, as for the rubber band vanish, okay? I uh, really like this part here, the rubber band vanish. Before, I show you the secrets of the vanish. Because I don't, if you thought I flicked it away there, you're wrong, okay? I didn't, okay? I secretly controlled it. <laughs> um, before I tell you that, though, here are the, the 12 winners. If I say your name now, it means you won one of my immortal tricks. Uh, it's a very cool trick involving a Dracula card and a, a rubber band thing. Here, the winners of Immortal are Joanne Louis... Oh my God, I'm sweating. Joanne L-U-O Steranin. Louis Steranin. Okay, Joanne Louis Steranin. Dinker Siegel. That's what his wife said. Okay, Dinker Siegel. Pokey 54. Dinker Pokey. I don't like this theme. The Average Bear. That's a cool name. Abraham Neves. Knives. N-I-E-V-E-S, Knives, Sergio Goninho, Rascal Lartet, 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 Rascal Lartet, Ray with an E Tanner, Ray Tanner, uh, Jordan Fern, F-I-R-N, okay, boom, I just hit it hard, really plant it there, but Bomber King Adam is the next one, Bomber King Adam, Fernando Jung, Fernando Jung, okay, his name came to me in a dream, Fernando Jung, and Ashley Kirk, K-I-R-K. -K. Ashley Kirk, U12-1. Congratulations. Send an email to my team. Uh, it's at contact at sankeymagic.com. Email them. Give me your real name, your YouTube name, whatever, your shipping address, and they will send out uh, one of the immortals to you. Congratulations. Okay, let's wrap this up over here. So they've got this, the thought of card. This Now, there's many ways to vanish a rubber band, of course. One way you could do it is you could lap it, right? You could pretend to take it in one hand, put it in the other, and secretly lap it. Uh, you could just do a false transfer here, where you got the rubber band here and apparently put it in that hand, but you got it over here. Now, what's neat about this is as soon as you make it vanish, you could have the spectator hold it between their hands, right? You could take the rubber band, do a false transfer, and against the back of the spectator's hand, kind of this, okay? Um, this also is nice on Zoom, right? Because on Zoom, uh, I can go through the cards. You call stop. I show it to you. Put them in the card case like this. So the whole thing has a real fairness about it, even if they're not there because they called stop. You show them the card. Everything stayed on camera, the impossibility, right? So lots of ways to vanish this. I use the sure shot vanish, this technique I came up with many years ago where it really looks like you take a rubber band and boom. I mean, look at that. It looks like it just goes good. But I've actually got it here. Here's the technique. It's not hard. We'll do it slowly here. Going up and down. Then my middle finger is going to come in. I go up and down, and I'm going to pull. Basically, the middle finger is going to curl tightly around the rubber band. Okay? So we go 
up and down, up and down, a little visual misdirection. Then going here, okay, so I'm holding it, my, I've still got it here the whole time, but I'm pulling it through the, the crack in the middle finger, or the, the first little phalange, the joint there like this, and then coming up, okay? So I want it looking like I'm gonna, I want it to look basically like I got one end here and the other end there, but it's actually looped. It's actually trapped in there, pulled up here, between the thumb and finger, okay? So when I let it go and my thumb moves forward and my eyes follow it, okay? All these little details really, and there's a nice snap add to the illusion of this boom, okay? So firing away makes it look like a joke. It puts a little time lapse here. You could fire directly at their hand, boom, boom, like this, like this, but then there's more heat on this hand. If you really just apparently fired away, boom, like this. Now everybody goes there. This, you put your hands in your pockets or once they remove the cards from the card case, take the card case back. Take it, put it in your pocket, get rid of the rubber band, right? You're all clean, you're all good like this. Then they go through, and boy, you know, uh, they spread through. You can have them spread them down like this on the table, face down, or you could have them name the card, you know, only after you make advantage, go ahead and name the card. That was the card you had in mind, okay, and then go through. Lots of ways to present it. And that's really a great way to bring your personality to these tricks. With these card tricks where a card is revealed is how do you want to reveal it there's so many different ways in which order with word they could draw a picture they could whisper it to a friend all these kinds of things there's stuff you can do on facetime and zoom etc etc so lots of examples there there you have it do not forget to leave a comment down below slurp leave a comment down below please tell me uh, the envelope question your chance to win envelope if you had supernatural powers and you could do any trick but you had to use a rubber band what strange, bizarre, crazy trick would you do? Leave that comment down below. Please subscribe, oh, to the channel, okay? Click that like button. I mean, this is a cool trick. Hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, and I hope to see you here really soon. Keep your distance, stay safe. We are all gonna get through this together. And we're never gonna go back to the way the world was, but we are gonna move forward, I think, to a world uh, without COVID and sooner than later. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you, bye-bye.